are not officially candidates. Yeah. 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 You know you don't start representing, so this is, this is just a formality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. good. All right. Alright, so just tell us a little bit about the process who nominated you, uh, who's supporting you on the Good afternoon to the media, first of all. Good afternoon to all of my supporters. Um, first of all, um, I will have to say I was nominated by my family because the people of St. Michael's Southeast, as you can see, are here in their numbers. They have been, I've been in this constituency since I was um, from 1976 when my father represented the constituency. So I have a lot of God brothers, God sisters, um, people who are extremely close to us, and that is how we live in St. Michael's Southeast. So when I look around here, I feel as though I am, they, all of these people have proposed and they have seconded my nomination this um, afternoon and to them I am extremely grateful for the opportunity to not only have represented them before today but to continue to represent them after the 19th of, of January as well. Um, in terms of walking around the constituency canvassing, how has that been going? Well, how has the feedback been like? I've never stopped touching people, um, whether it is calling, whether it is going to see them. So it really is second nature to me. I'm always about the area. Um, they all know they can count on me. Um, I have an excellent team that is always very supportive and responding to the, the needs of the people. Um, so for me, I, I feel very overwhelmed by the support, very humble, um, because when people come to you, even today, all through the constituency we drove through, um, and the love is there. You know, St. Michael's Office has given me love. I have given them back all of me um, and I just look forward on the 19th to be able to be re-elected and to continue a lot of the work that I've started because we still have a lot more to do and so I look forward to being their representative on the 19th of January. Yeah, it's all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And it turns out, uh, <laughs> what are some of the challenges <laughs> Yeah. I think as, as everybody can appreciate, it has been difficult for us coming to office. Um, we face the economic challenges um, and that's still very much you know, at the forefront of our minds as a government. Um, we also have the issues of unemployment. Um, we've been able to get a couple people work, but we've not had the, the, the numbers that I think that we would like. But I think people understand and appreciate that people have gotten employment. Um, again, that's why we're asking for re-election because we know that there are still things that we have to do. Uh, just as we were about to be in a position to have um, improvements in the, the country, as you know, the pandemic came and that's beyond our control. Um, so I think people understand that a lot of the things that we wanted to achieve, we could not do everything, but we've been able to keep Barbadians safe. I'm proud to have been part of a subcommittee and a government that has been able, for the most part, to be able to keep the country safe and to, to do the right thing in the name of the people. And I look forward to us being able to take on, whether it's Delta or Omicron or anything else, being able to keep our people and our communities as safe as possible. But generally, I think people are very concerned about employment, they're, they're concerned about um, making systems work for them. You know, so we've put a lot in, but we want to make sure now that the, the, the persons who have responsibility for delivering service in the country understand that they have a responsibility to make sure that people are satisfied when those services are offered. So whether that's licensing authority, um, whether that, that is making sure our healthcare systems are working, it is just right now I think about making sure that systems work for people at the end of the day.